the Internet Archive is an awesome site where you can find lots of old video games, movies and TV shows, books, and even websites that have since been taken down. But one of the unfortunate drawbacks of the Internet Archive is that some media are stream only. And so, for example, when you click on such a piece of content, you see that in the section where you'd normally find the downloads, it only says stream only, but you can still yeah, listen to the songs or play the games yeah, on the website if you want. But there's actually a pretty simple way to download those files anyway, and I'll show you how. So first of all, what you do is you press Control, Shift, and I, which will open the DevTools, which is this area. And now in the DevTools, you go to the Network tab. And now you'll start the content you want to download for the first time so that it downloads. So let's say this song. And now just have a look at what files you've already downloaded. So, well, in this case, you see that almost all of the files here are some kind of image, like a ping image or a GIF, but only one file is an audio file. So it must be this file. And now to download it, you just open it in a new tab and well you see that is indeed the right audio file and now you press Control s to save it and this way you can download it if you want and if you want to download a game it works pretty much the same way so let's just say i want to download this old dos game so first of all, let me just reload the page and press Control Shift I to open for that tools, go to the network tab. And now I press on the power on button to actually download the emulator, which is called DOSBox in the case of DOS and the game. And now it's a bit more complicated than the last example, because you see there are quite a few more files than before. And well, now we can just think about which files it could be. So JSON files are just files that contain information and XML files as well. So they shouldn't contain the game, but you can see there's a zip file here, which has the name of a game. So, well, actually this is a redirect and this is the right file, but it doesn't really matter. Just press on open a new tab and then the download should automatically start. And well, now it has this rather cryptic name, but if we just have a look inside, we can see that we did need downloaded a folder with something that looks pretty much like you'd expect a DOS game to look. So that worked as well. And if you can't find the corresponding file this way, you can just have a look at the size of the files. So you can see that it says disk cache in this case, because I just downloaded the file the first time I visited the page. But to re-download it and to see how big it actually is, just press Control, Shift, and R. This will empty the 
cache and reload the page. And now let's reload the game again. And now we'll notice right away that among all these files, there are just a few rather large files. So first of all, the HTML document itself, which was downloaded way before. And then also some other files, which is apparently just some JavaScript the website uses. But if you go down, you see the only somewhat sizable file here in the lower part. is actually this 88 kilobytes file. So if you just sort them by size, you see, okay, this is just a JavaScript file, probably the JavaScript of the emulator. And this one is JavaScript as well. And this one's a GIF. So it should be this file. And this way you should have an easy time finding all the files you need. So of course, this trick works almost anywhere where some site wants you to just stream content and don't watch it, don't download it. So, well, it doesn't work on YouTube or Spotify or other streaming services because they tend to chop up their videos in a rather complicated way, so you'll need other programs like, for example, YouTube DL to download those videos. But for regular sites, it should work just the same. So see you 